it's now time for an update on the other guys, how they're doing, how they reacted from taking out some of the filtration to move down to the bigger tank, since that was what the canister filter was going to be for. I might get a little little canister filter for this 10 gallon tank. It's 10 gallons here. It's gonna be time to feed on this. This is Dama. His eye is, I don't know if you can tell, but from the first video to now, I think his eye is looking really, really, really good. I mean, not good as in perfectly healed, but definitely better. Why do I say that? Because I can actually look through the eye now. The red of the eye. The red is actually clearing up to where it's starting to look white behind the eye. Maybe you can tell. The swelling is still there. Hey, Dama. And the swelling is still... Can you turn around for me? I want to look at your eye. The swelling is still pretty bad. His pop eye. But it is definitely, um... I think improving. He's not going to let me... Let's see, let's see. Donna! He is, he is actually... I've found that he is pretty blind in that eye. What I'm hoping is that because it is still healing that hopefully he might be able to get a little bit of sight back. Just because he is blind in that eye, I'm thinking that maybe I'll keep him in this tank by himself like it was before and keep out everyone else. See, that was a that was a good little look at his eye. It is still swollen, it is still Popeye, but the red of it, the injury, I think, is starting to clear, and it popped out so much worse, I think, a few weeks ago. I think it's definitely doing better now. So we can uh, go ahead and try to feed these guys, but they're doing a lot. And actually, they're not doing much at all. They're just kind of chilling. Which is good. I want them to take it easy. I don't want them to stress too much. Since this is a very small and tight living space. Um, the white fish, uh, which is uh, my boyfriend's fish. Hello, you guys. Hi, you two. The white fish is, um, I, the eye that's facing us now has, I think, Popeye, but it's not so severe. So if you, it's just mostly the two pupils are of different sizes. So he wants to follow the camera. He, um, the side that we're looking at right now is bigger. The pupil, see, see, there you go. You saw it there, I hope. Um, I don't exactly know what that is. See, his pupil is bigger, and my camera isn't focusing. I'm, I don't know if that's damage or if that's just how it's growing. I don't know if it's getting better. I think it's going to get possibly but I mean, like, I don't see it as really affecting him, such as being able to eat and find food and compete with the other fish. Because, um, it doesn't seem to really be bothering him really bad. And actually, um, it's actually st somewhat grown in since he's come here. It's definitely gotten a little bit. So this is all the fish food that I have here right now. Um, I am not going to keep with the flakes. I'm actually going to go to sinking pellets. I just got flakes for now because 
I knew I was going to need to cycle the tank. The tank is humongous. I ran out of fish pellets and um, and money. I make sure this stuff tries to sink as best as it as I can. And um, but I will be going back to fish pellets because the other fish they eat quite a bit of this stuff so and and my boyfriend does not like me actually feeding these pellets to these fish well these flakes I mean and I don't either they um, they deserve a lot better I think and they more used to sinking pellets anyway but they're, they're fish they'll eat whatever they can so they're not exactly complaining So, and as you can see, even though Dama's eye is damaged, he can still get food, though he does struggle because he is blind and already telescope fish don't have the greatest of eyesight. So, sometimes, and also just because my boyfriend's fish is somewhat faster, Sometimes Dama could be gulping up there for food and missing, and um, my boyfriend's fish would just zip up right underneath him and just take all the food that Dama is trying to reach for. And um, so that's why I think it's best not to put him in the tank, in the bigger 56 gallon tank, even though I think the 56 gallons he'd enjoy that, that more space. I think this is. Um, He's used to this. This is what he. I've had him in. Um, he's been in this tank for I want to say maybe like five, six years. So I think I'm going to keep him in here. And he lived all those years by himself. So as you can see, he didn't get very big. Um, I've heard things from fish that don't get the proper space that they need. They give out this hormone that stunts their growth. I'm not sure. I'm just saying what I've heard and what I've researched. And but um after six years he isn't all that quite that big as you can see from my boyfriend's new fish that he got from the pet store about oh, three week three, four weeks ago. Which was it's it's still a babe, it's still pretty young. Compared to my fish, my old man of a fish, he's I actually don't know if six years is an a long time for fish. I hear that they can live for a very long time. But for me, who's never had a fish that's last that long, he is, to me, an old man fish. As you can see, they're not that different from each other. And he's been fed, and in fact overfed. And um, he's not that bigger. Six years. And they grow really fast, so... I'm really hoping that my boyfriend's fish will get a chance to grow. I hope being in this 10 gallon sharing with another fish didn't do anything to stunt him. I'm hoping that they can last another month together. And I will be watching Dama closely. I will be watching Dragon closely. And we'll see. I took out the carbon, so I need to find more sponges. Same with the downstairs one. I took out the carbon filters. They don't need carbon. And for this tank, um, all my money and all my time's really been going to the other tank downstairs, the bigger 56 gallon, I really want to buy a proper light. That's what I really want to do for this tank. They have a filter, they have an air pump, I, I want to get a proper light for them. Luckily all I have in there is moss right now. So they don't need too too much light, it's I do want to get a better light for them, a more natural light, instead of my lamp. 
Alright. Thank you much for watching.